My time at the Coretta Scott King Young Women's Leadership Academy was both fun and informative. In our four weeks there, we were tasked with helping a group of students on a research project about how to raise quail at their school. In our first session with the students, we really didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what levels of experience and knowledge they had when it comes to research. So for our first session with the students, we had a very fluid lesson plan, you know, introduced the topic to them and outlined some basic research practices, uh, you know, like what is a valid source. And then we just kind of let them loose and let them just research some specific questions. And from there, we could kind of gauge how well they were understanding it. And what I had found was that they were very good at finding answers, but not necessarily understanding the context of the information and the source that they were getting the information from. For example, there was one student who would find something and go, oh, oh this is the answer, and then copy and paste an entire paragraph and put that as her answer to a specific research question. And then I would ask her, so what is the answer to the question? And she wouldn't be able to, to respond because she had to put it in her own words. And she didn't really grasp the full meaning of what was being said. One of the coolest parts about our research project was that the school actually acquired quail chicks while we were doing our research. So we were able to bring the students to go see the quails and the teacher who had been in charge of taking care of the quail chicks over the summer actually taught the students a little bit about how to safely care for them. The information that they acquired from this hands-on experience with the quails was actually the information where they showed the most understanding of in this whole research project. And they were able to use it in their research project. In our final session with the students, we helped them develop a presentation for all their research findings that they would present to the class. This was another scenario where we didn't know, you know what experience, what familiarity they had with various presentation techniques, and so we kind of let them take the lead and see what they wanted to do, and it, it turned out they were you know, all very familiar with PowerPoint presentations and wanted to do that. We found that it was almost counterproductive for us to intervene with their presentation making because they were all so enthusiastic about doing it and they had their way they wanted to do it. So it was just a matter of giving them some little bit of tips and some, you know, some time management advice because because we really did not have a whole lot of time and, and, and some of the stuff they wanted to do was, would be a little too much for time constraints that we had. All in all, I think the experience was a really great introduction into teaching and will be a big benefit for me coming into the fall when I start teaching at the high school level.